In this video, we will see how we can write to text files in Java, how we can append them, or even replace the contents of an existing um, text file. We will be using two classes for this operation. The first class is the one that we will be mapping our file to the Java object, which is the file writer class. The constructor will take a string for the file name or the file path, and then the mode, which is a Boolean variable. Now the mode will decide if we are going to replace the contents of that file or if we are going to append add to the end of that file if it already exists. So if the mode is true, we will be appending that file. If the mode is false, we will be replacing the current contents of that file. Once you have your file writer object, you will be sending that to a print writer object. And this print writer will be the one that will be um, doing the writing operation itself. Now our file writer will be throwing a checked exception, which is the IO exception, and we need to surround our file writer with a try catch block because Java will not allow us to compile our file unless we have um, the file writer surrounded with that try catch block. Now again, we have three different scenarios for um, writing to files. Either we do not have the file, the file does not exist, in that case, we will be creating that file. Java will be creating that file for us. Uh, the other scenario we have is we have the file and we want to replace the current contents of that file. And that's where we'll be using the Boolean variable, which is the one we will decide if we are going to append that file or we are going to replace it. So if we want to replace it, we'll set that Boolean mode to false. And then the last case, we have the file and we want to append it. We want to add to the end of that file in that case, we'll be um, placing um, the value true in that Boolean value variable mode. So again, we specify if we want to replace the contents or append to the current contents of the file when we construct our file writer object using the uh, mode Boolean variable. Once we have our print writer object ready with the file writer object mapped to it, we can use these methods to actually write to the file. So print we can use the print method that takes an integer. It's returning void. So this value, the integer value that we pass will be added to that file. If we pass a double string, um, we have print line, which is similar to the system.out print line. It will print the integer i at the current line and then move the writer to the next line. Same thing with print line with a double, print line with a string and so on. Now we also have the close method and this will release all the resources that we gave to the print writer object. And this is a really important method here because if we do not close our object, we will not be releasing that file and we might, we might not see the actual writing that we did using that print writer as we'll see in a bit. So let's try that in Eclipse. I'm gonna start by creating a, my file writer. So file writer, let's call it fw equals new file writer. And I'll be passing a string with the file name or the file path. If I want to have my file in the same folder or in the same package in here, I will be um, just typing the file name. So let's call it file1.txt. And then the mode. The mode, again, it's either true or false. If it's true, that means I will be appending to that file if it already exists. If it's false, that means I will be replacing it. Since the file does not exist, it doesn't matter if we have it as true or false. I'm gonna start with having it as false. Notice we have the red underline because we need to import that file writer, which is part of the java.io package. So we import java.io.filewriter. We will still have the red line because we have to have this in a try catch block. The file writer will throw an IO exception and we need to check for that exception at in our program. So I will add the surround with try and catch. So my file writer will be now surrounded with a try and catch. Notice the catch is now catching an IO exception and the try will be having the file writer in it. So once we have our file writer, we can have a print writer. The print writer will take that file writer object. Let's call it PW. And this is the one that we'll be actually using to do the write operation. So print writer and we'll be passing the file writer object that we created. We will need to import the print writer class from the Java IO package. So the file writer and the print writer are imported. So now we have the print writer, we have the file writer. Now we can 
just print directly to that print writer using pw dot one of the print methods. So I'm gonna use print and then I'm gonna just pass the value hello world. So what are we doing again? We are creating a file writer. If the file does not exist, we will be Java will be creating it for us in this path. If we did not provide a full path, it will be created in our directory here. Um, false, that means the contents of the file will be replaced if the file already exists. Now the print writer will take the file writer object as a parameter in the constructor, and then we can use the print writer to actually write to that file. So let's save and run, see what happens. Notice I did not close my print writer. So let's see what happens. Let me refresh here. You'll see I did create a file one.txt. If we click on it, you will see it's empty. Why did this happen? Because we did not close our file writer or the, our print writer. So to do that, we will just add at the end here, pw.close and that will close our print writer. So if we run this again, notice the file now exists. So whatever we had before will be replaced since the file is currently empty, it will just write on top of the empty file. So if we run it again, the file is here. If we double click on it, you will see we have hello world um, saved in that file. So now that we have the file and we have contents in it, we'll see how this mode will affect the writing operation. So if I'm gonna keep it as false and I'm gonna change what we are writing in that file. So I'm gonna say hi there instead of hello world. And since we are using the false, this means we are replacing the current contents of that file. So we are replacing the hello world with whatever we are writing now in that file. So if we save this and run it, you will see that the contents of file one.txt are now replaced with hi there. If we use true, that means it will be appending that file at the last location we wrote in. So we wrote hi there and we stopped, this is the last location. So the next time we run it, it will type hi there in here. So if we run it again, if we open it, you will see we have hi there followed by hi there. If we use print line, print line will go to the current location and print in it. So the current last location will be here. So it will print in it and then we'll move the writer to the next line. Notice we have here one line, we have the number one which indicates that we have one line. This is part of Eclipse, it's not part of the file. So now if we run our um, program again, you will see that we are writing in the same line, but now we have a second line added. This line is empty, but that means the next time you want to write to that file or append that file, you will be starting the writing operation in here. So print line will print from the current location and then at the end of the print operation, it will take the writer to the next line. It will not write in the next line. It will just move the writer after printing to that next um, line.